Hello and welcome back. Uh, we're going to download Procreate for Android. And so we first hit the Play Store button here. Okay, and then we type in Procreate. Select that, hit return. Okay, so here we have Procreate Paint for Android. And if we go down, <clears throat> we have Procreate Paint. So there are several types of Procreate apps. So we, I'm not sure which one would be the one, but they, they have uh, low reviews according to uh, the Play Store. So let's go for this one, which is Procreate Paint for Android. 100,000 downloads. Reviews are not that great, but let's install that. Installing, open. Okay, loading, giving a loading time. <clears throat> okay, now, again, this is a slightly annoying in the sense that the I was in landscape mode with my tablet and now I have to turn it to portrait mode here. So let me do that. I've turned it into portrait mode, although it may appear in landscape more mode, but I'm still using in portrait mode. So let me start. Sign up. No, thank you. Well, these are ads. Forget that. What is Procreate 7? The benefits of using Procreate. Okay. <clears throat> not sure what I've installed here, but it's not looking very convincing. The benefits of using Procreate. See what just uh, okay. Go here, tip two. Not sure what that is. To grasp Procreate's real world capabilities is to be told regarding skills, artist experience with the app. Post written for the VMA Visual Media Line style. Fortunate professionals, world health owner. Well, this no wonder it has got poor reviews. Okay, so it's not a drawing app. It is, in fact, Android's, um, they've just put this up to convince Android users to download the app, Procreate, which is more common on the Apple platform. In fact, that's Procreate is only available on the Apple platform. So I'm not able to, okay, let's get out of that. Let's click that. Go back. How professional artists use Procreate. Let's click on that. Okay, they're throwing ads one after another. The work is to be told we're going to see. Okay, it's just written the same thing again. What's the simplest? What's the simplest iPad? Four two point. Okay. All right. So. It's, <clears throat> so I'm not <clears throat> sure what this is setting. Okay. More ads. Throwing more ads. Application version. So this app directed by fans is not official. If we infringe copyright, let us know and we'll be removed as soon as possible. Um, not sure what's going on here. Do they get some kind of a commission for sending appropriate users to their Apple platform? Maybe. Or maybe it's the company just using uh, the Android uh, as a way to get 
people to install, you know, as an indirect funneling way of getting people to install the app. So not not very happy with this. So I'm gonna exit and have a look at no thanks. And have a look at the um the the reviews, why the reviews are so poor. It can probably explain it. Okay, let's go now. Okay, I knew there was something up when I saw this was free. When I went into the app, I pressed start and played an ad. Okay, so far. Tips page, I tried refreshing, exactly what I was doing. Fake app, pretends to be appropriate painting. This app is horrible, for, first of all. So it's pretty poor overall. Hasn't, it shouldn't be there in the first place. <clears throat> and I'm guessing the same thing is here. You've got appropriate art art here this second one which is appropriate art pro labs units let's click on that let's see the review first this app is really good like taking pictures i love editing photos appropriate art is amazing application okay, is unique and awesome features the application is okay what features i fully enjoy the app okay i'm, I'm not going to install this app but i'm guessing it will be the same thing, or should I go ahead and install it for your information? Let's go ahead and install it, because I can always delete it. So it's almost installed. 81%. Okay, by the way, this is actually on my Samsung S6 Lite that I'm using. I have a Bluetooth mouse where you can see this mouse icon is quite nice. Okay, open. Okay, I'm beginning to think that I'm going to be presented with the same nonsense like the previous one. Because uh, right away there's an ad here. Edit. Edit without a uh, picture. So, very interesting. Okay, let's allow that. Okay, so it's saying pictures, take pictures. Camera. Share app. No, thank you. College, collage. Let's see what this is. Collage. My painting, select photos. Yeah, let's select my photos, nothing there. Don't know what happened here, so let me open up that app again. So that was a bit unusual. Again, let's get out of that. Okay, this is getting very tiring, and I'm pretty sure it's the same scam as before, so hopefully... <clears throat> Hopefully Google will remove these from the their Play Store because it's quite embarrassing when we have so many other good apps there. So you can see there's quite a number of these apps are showing up. And the whole idea is that they're taking the advantage of um, Procreate, which is extremely popular in the Apple platform but it's the paid app and they don't have one on the android because they're probably too busy serving the app the apple audience and so i would recommend that you steer clear of all these procreate apps you'll not be doing any justice it's a waste of time and so what i'm going to do is delete those so let's go ahead and settings apps and then let's go to procreate find there it is so let's get rid of these uninstall okay that because because i don't know what kind of damage that these apps could do to your especially when you give permissions so there you are it's um it's fairly new to me that uh, this came about 
And uh, of course, you know, you have the trusted Paintology app, which you can install available from the Play Store, which uh, is highly recommended. So I hope uh, you've uh, been able to t make use of some of this information and steer clear of any Procreate uh, that is uh, on the Android Play Store because it's a complete sham scam which should be reported to the Google Play Store because I do not believe the company itself is trying to um, you know put this forward because they sh they're probably a reputable company but you never know companies seek new ways to get traffic to their app and so this is uh, this was an eye-opener for me and hopefully you've learned a thing or two so hopefully see you in another review again soon i don't um, I'm not affiliated with any company as such. The, the Paintology app that I recommend is entirely my own. I've, uh, I've made this app over a period of two years with 40 releases to date. And uh, it allows you to beginners to ma make new drawings and to all the way to photorealistic drawings, which you can find on the YouTube channel and also Udemy if you type in Paintology. So if you're looking for a good app, I would uh, go for Paintology and uh, please give me a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. This will help me tremendously to boost up more examples, more tutorials that's already available on the Paintology app and help you with your journey in uh, digital drawing. And thank you again for watching and hopefully see you again soon. Bye-bye.